Hi everyone, this is EasyViz BC2 battery operated wireless home security camera. I'm Eloy from Stuff Around the House. If you find the content of my channel interesting, please take a moment to subscribe. It only takes a second, it is free, and it will help my channel greatly. So in my video, I'll be unboxing very quickly this EasyViz camera, and then I'm gonna show you how to set it up. I'm gonna also show you some clip samples, and at the end, I'm gonna tell you what I like and what I don't like, and this wireless home security camera. So let's open the box. So this is everything you get in the box. You have the camera, the base, USB cable, user manual, some screws, and this is a plate metal to put on the wall in case your walls don't have metal in them. So let me show you the camera. This is a camera, this is a microphone, and on the top of the camera you have the speaker here and on the back of the camera you have a micro sd slot you have a micro usb connection to charge it or in case you want to hook it always to the power you have a reset button and you have a power button the resolution of the camera is 1080p and it is a wireless camera it works on the 2.4 gigahertz band it also has a motion detection and also it has an infrared light and it can record in full darkness and it has a battery that can last theoretically up to 50 days. I'm gonna verify this and I'll let you know how much does the battery last. So let me install the EasyViz application on my iPhone. And let's open it. Tap on continue. Tap on allow. Allow again. Select your country. Tap on save. And you need to create a new account so i'm going to create a new account tap on link phone and also enable biometric login so let's open the app now and we need to add the camera tap on the plus sign and then you have scan qr device so i'm gonna turn on my camera i'm gonna plug it because it's not charged yet and it will turn on automatically and now we need to scan the qr code device wi-fi configuration and then tap on allow and it found the model bc2 and device is powered on select it and then tap on next and then tap on start and allow while using the app allow the location so it works on the 2.4 gigahertz band it doesn't work on the 5 gig band so i need to select the ssid that is assigned to the 2.4 gigahertz band so here I need to connect my phone to the 2.4 gigahertz band for me to be able to continue setting up the camera. So this is my 2.4 gigahertz band. And then I'm going to tap on join after I put the password. And now I need to go back to the EasyViz application. And here you need to put the password for the Wi-Fi network. And when you put the password for the Wi-Fi network, tap on next. And then tap on join. So this prompt here is to inform you that you can have a free trial on the cloud play. So the cloud play, it means that it will save your videos in the cloud. So let's tap on next here. So here it's important to change the encryption password. The camera comes with a default password that is six uppercase letters. So I need to change it and then tap on have modified and then tap on OK. Tap on next. It is informing you to remove the protective film, which I already did. And here you have the power settings. So power plugged in. In case you plug it in all the time, choose this one. So it keeps on recording. High performance. It records longer clips. Power saving. This is the default setting. So it records one video clip that is shorter and saves more power. Super power saving. So it goes in sleep mode and configure working mode so you put the hours you want it to work on and on this screen it is asking us to configure the detection sensitivity i'm gonna leave it by default so i'm gonna tap on next step and then it's asking us if we want a spaces guide i don't want that so i'm gonna tap on skip so here once again it is prompting you to subscribe i don't want to subscribe i just want to see the camera and this is the camera's live feed to install the camera on a magnetic surface, put it on its magnetic base like this 
and then take the magnetic base and put it on the magnetic surface i'm gonna show you so here i want to install it on this magnetic surface on top of the closet so just put it like this and you can adjust it afterwards on the angle you want to adjust it to so now let me show you how to download the clip from cloud to play to your phone and then you can transfer it wherever you want so on your phone open the easy Viz application and then tap on your camera and here make sure that cloud play is selected and i'm gonna download the one that is here on the top right corner so i'm gonna tap on it and then when it starts playing turn your phone like this horizontally so you have the download button and tap on download and then tap on download again and the video clip will be downloaded so let me go to the gallery on the phone to show you the clip and here it is so now i just entered my office and the camera detected me this is the microphone of the camera that you're hearing now and the recording was made to cloud play and this is how i could retrieve it on my phone and then download it on my pc so during this video i mentioned that i will tell you if the battery of this easy viz camera will last up to 50 days without it being charged so i've been using this camera for around a week now and the battery depleted to around 40 percent so i don't think that the battery will last 50 days i mean maybe the battery will last 50 days if you put the camera on very low power saving mode but this way the camera will not detect motion anymore and you have to access the camera to see the live motion in your house if you're not in your house so the better way is to put it on power savings mode and then the camera will be detecting motion and it will record automatically video clips when it detects a motion and if you put it in power saving mode i don't think it will last more than two weeks in this way so now let me tell you what I like and what I don't like in this camera. First of all, I like the form factor and I like that it has a very good magnetic base. And also I like the fact that the image is really clear and that the camera is a good value. So it's not very expensive and it comes with a smart app and also with a Windows application. Now what I don't like about it is the fact that it doesn't come with a power adapter and the cable also for the power is really very short so if you want to hook it up all the time so it will be operated all the time you need to purchase a long cable and a power adapter and also i don't know why they're still using micro usb i mean in this day and age they should use usb-c and also i don't like the fact that when the camera records to the sd card there is no way to download the video clips that are on the sd card you can only download the video clips that are on cloud play and cloud play needs a subscription so this is something also that you need to think about it when you think about the value of this camera so that was my review of the easy viz bc2 battery operated wireless camera i hope that you liked my review and you found it useful if you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it this will help my channel greatly and this way you'll not miss my future videos i'm eloy from stuff around the house i want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video